All right, we put some um, sweet potatoes and some algae discs in the tanks. I'm going to get a couple of the plecos for you. Here we have the uh, pineapple pleco. This is a L152. Here we have a para pleco. That's L75. Same little bristle nose down there. So there's still a green phantom in there. I gotta check and make sure there's no eggs because it hasn't come out. Um, and there's food in there. And you you can see the bristles are out on its pectoral fins. It means it's a male. It may very well have some eggs in there. I gotta check it. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, the green phantom, by the way, is a L200. There's another one down there, along with another Paraplecco. we got. I saw the watermelon. Here's a Royal Pleco. That is a L27. The watermelon did not come out. I'm surprised. She's down there. It's it's a Royal Pleco. Just a different L number. And they just call it a watermelon because of the pattern on it. Someday I'll get a full circle watermelon. This one's got the stripes on it. There she is. Oh, she saw me. Um, where is... there's one of the green phantoms. And I wish the other one would come out because when they're out together they light up. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see here. And there's the Gibbiceps Sailfin Pleco. It's an L83. You gotta be careful. A lot of a lot of pet stores sell those as a Gibbiceps and they're really not. They'll just be common plecos. These guys are actually a lot prettier with their pattern. It's almost like the Michigan State Stone Picastis, Picasti Stone. I'm probably not pronouncing that correct, but See here, I was hoping the um, leopard cactus would come out. L114. Oh, there's one right there. And the fish is there we go. We've got three of them. There's two in this tank. These guys get pretty big and very impressive when they get big. So there's two in here, and we've got another one in another tank, quarantine. Oh, both the paras. And the top of hosts are still over here. Earlier I got in the video, between the two males, they're still guarding this area over here. Wanting to breed. Let me get a close up of the watermelon, or the pineapple rather. Not, no color to speak of, but this fish is cool. They actually use their belly like a suction cup, and you'll see like hanging on a log upside down. You know, most plecos will be sucking on the stuff with their mouth but they can be attached to something upside down without using their mouth as the sucker. They actually like form a suction with their belly. Really neat fish. I am so curious now. I think there's eggs in there. The green phantom cave. Oh, plecophyte, plecophyte.
Most people think the plecos are just a calm fish. <laughs> yeah, they fight. That guy won't fight. The pineapple he is just a slow motion, calm, cool cat. I'll try to uh, catch him out. Well, first few months we had him. Actually, about the first year we had him. It's like you could didn't even know he existed. He just hid. <clears throat> Being dark, he would hide up here and he by the aura flows in the back. Wouldn't even know he was there. Alright, I'm going to stop this one and then go get some of the other fish in the other tanks. And then I'll post them all.